One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at my investing club. What's up everyone? It's uh, Tom Dizou here. I hope you guys had a great weekend and also great trading week, uh, you know, this week. Uh, I mean, you know, November has been uh, quite crazy uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, the EV stocks uh, was running on Friday. So let's talk about, you know, today uh, and we're going to do the watch list for Monday, for, for example. OK, so the two things I'm looking at, you know, low hanging frame, I'm not interested. And I want to look at those uh, solo BNK, a row. AMRN. Okay, so this uh, this is uh, like the stocks that ran on Friday. Now I want to make a watch list on those. So that's about the watch list from Alex, and let's bring on the chart. Uh, okay, so first thing I want to see is okay, A row, A Y R O. Right, uh, it moved, you know, it went up on Friday, you know, crazy. You see it float rotated here, tang at open, you know, pops back, putting on a channel, and then, you know, slam down. You know, this is like, this is the typical stuff candle, right? I mean, it should tang more, but didn't. See, you know, this is the traps we've been talking about in, in November. It's, it's really crazy. It went up to this, you know, like all the long chases are gone and stuff. And then, uh, you know, like really uh, like a logical way or like, you know, how to short it is you short back the bounce, right? I mean, you see that's a clear death candle. Uh, a lot of people got trapped here. Uh, next thing, I, I was in it as well. I was shorting here, but I was lucky enough that I saw, you know, it was like raining. So I cover everything here and uh, and uh I didn't touch it, uh, but I I think I got uh, like you know, on on this candle I, I stop out you know somewhere around here. But yeah, so I'm not talking about this. Uh, well, talking about watch list, AI uh, AYRO. So by looking at this, uh, I can clearly you can clearly tell that stock is not broken yet, right? And for the true low hanging fruit, I don't want to be shorting those. Okay, the low hanging fruit it has to be the day two continuation. Uh, so the stock has to kind of broke down first and then you show back the bounce, right? You know, pretty uh, simple concept from uh, MIC. And so this is, to me, is not low hanging fruit. So I'm, I'm going to pass that, okay? Unless it really gives me the clear signal, you know, that the backside is in. And what I can see is this is, you know, the line of support to me under, you know, 572. I can use, you know, six and whole and half dollar mark this uh this is you know another line seven you know this is the first sign of weakness if it you know tanks below seven am i thinking about short you know uh um, back to the bounce but again the stock is really trappy so i want to wait for the real backside so in this case i think it's you know under 572 i think if it broke this level and you know i'm not talking about even five five it's it's more safer if you want to weigh it but this is not really uh the stock i am like i'm really interested in unless it give me you know like you know maybe a rat here because previous close is at six six so maybe when it stays on the red under six i can show back the bounce right and uh expecting you know a red day continuation so that's uh one thing uh what's the other one solo so low did this you know poor i mean uh there's one more thing i want to point out here is that i always want to uh um try to look for the fin bits. and for me okay uh my criteria about the stocks is is uh uh under that uh under that uh 200 million or like i probably would say my edge is around like under hundred million cap so anything above this I, I really don't like you know it much so if I ended up you know kind of trading those uh, I'm gonna have like really 
10 or maybe you know 20 percent of my size you know just basically poor scalping that's all so when i'm looking at this solo 750 i'm gonna just avoid it because it's, it's not really my edge and a row too as well a row i mean on uh Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line, and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. On Friday, it was like, you know, 150, 21. I think, you know, that's, that's you know, pretty okay. I mean, I, I could, you know, uh, like uh, trade this one, but uh, unless it really gives me the clear kind of signal, but you can see here it was like, you know, making new high. And then, uh, you know, as I said, uh, under six, that's usually, you know, I mean, the market cap is 150 million. I mean, that's okay, right? It's not, you know, I don't want to be, too close to that 110 120 and you know that's fine but if it was like you know 300 and 400 i would probably gonna avoid it uh man this is so many ads on this side uh next one is uh let's let me see blnk yeah this is like i, I was uh losing on that one on friday as well and you can see why i mean it's just kept going it's, you see the market cap it's just like stupid i mean i didn't even check this kind of float uh and market cap and i kind of went in at open you know what's really small size but you know on the range of this stock like i think i got in after this one yeah at the open i mean this one i was showing a view app i mean that's that's pretty straightforward kind of setup right i mean it popped to view app i mean that's you know stock tank week you know broke this support i mean the thesis is correct there's nothing wrong with this trade but uh but you know i kind of short this pop but you know and i'm tanking I, I should have covered some but i was in so small that i didn't want to you know kind of cover it i, I try to uh put uh, my fantasy out for the limit order to cover this support but it didn't get there we missed like you know 20 30 cents but next thing i know I squeeze back all the way and the moment it kind of reclaim view app i kind of stop out here but it was really stupid uh in a way that it's not about the trade the trade itself is good i mean for me right i wait for the stock to tank you know i didn't trade in the pre-market i mean what well, that was solid i mean i was waiting for the crack the moment crack pops at you know open you know nothing wrong with that the only thing uh, what's wrong is i didn't check the market cap and as you can see you know 600 million i mean those are the companies that uh you know like based on my experience a lot of times when you see something like this i mean there's a lot of choppiness in that stock uh like uh uh you know like uh, those are like the big companies to me and they kind of behave not like the usual small caps uh, kind of you know turd uh, if you look at this MDGS this is like uh, you know from the pumper uh, pumper was uh, chat room was in it as you can see you know it went straight down uh, and if you put here you know like it tells you the big picture see market cap 21 million right I mean you you don't have to be exact like you know 80 90 100 million 120 million i mean you it's just like you know all this the the information is just there for you to paint the picture okay usually the small crappy companies uh, usually hanging up you know with small market cap right and and small float as well and you if you look at the chart every time it pops uh you know it got sold into pop so you know all those wigs that's telling you you know this is the trash companies right this is my niche and this is, i've been trading you know for so many years now and you see the huge volume tank you know this is like tons of baggies up here right and if you look at the chart it's really conforms to the lines and also you know uh went to 350 okay crack this support right bounce back and that's it never look back
yeah guys so i hope it's uh helpful today and especially <clears throat> for those uh in like new members or new to mic uh this so this is basically our process uh and if you still having any questions uh let me know dm me anytime i'll be you know happy to help so yeah guys so thanks for watching and i see you guys on the uh, next one take care thank you so much for watching our video if you want to see more of our videos please subscribe to our youtube channel by clicking the button here we do our best to post a new video every single day if you have any questions about mic or any general trading questions please text tosh using the number here also stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here